us a little bit about what this is. I mean, is this coming out of the health care overhaul, yes. Obama's plan? Yes, it's part of, it's part of the um, health care overhaul. Under the law, insurance companies um, have to pay out a certain percentage of the money that they take in in premiums for health care and related things. Okay. And if they don't pay out enough of it for health care, they have to pay back some of it to consumers. And what percentages are we talking about, roughly? Um, it's for for large group plans. They have to pay. They have to pay 85 percent of the premiums that they take in for health care and also things like quality control measures. Right. And then the other uh, part of it can go to things like administrative of costs and insurance brokers fees. In small group plans, it's 80 percent. And so for, for consumers themselves, what's sort of the average rebate we'd be getting? Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to vary a lot. Um, according to uh, analysis by the Kaiser Family Foundation that looked at some of the preliminary uh, filings to state regulators that the insurance companies have filed, um, in the individual market, it's probably going to be an average of about $200 or so, but okay. it, some people will see nothing, and some people will see some more than that. And we're seeing a range of figures here for the average rebate being somewhere from $72 to $126. Are really, I think they're probably all sorting it out right now. Well, we don't know yet. Yeah. What plans are going to pay what to whom in what markets? This, these, are, these are broad estimates across states and across, um, across in the industry, not broken out by company yet. And not everybody's going to get a rebate. I mean, no. some of these... <laughs> What about like self-funded plans? Would they be eligible for this rebate as well? Right, no, they are not. If okay. you are in a, what is known as a self-funded plan, which is most large employers, that means that your employer is taking on the risk themselves, and they're actually only contracting with the insurance company to administer the plan. Okay. Um, and that's about a little more than half of Americans are covered under plans like that. Then no, you are not eligible. But for the rest of us, then um, in the individual market and in the large and small group market, you're eligible for rebates. Now, wasn't this portion of the health care overhaul somewhat controversial, Stephanie? Well, the insurance companies um, felt constricted by the requirement to pay out that certain percentage in, uh, in health care costs. The, you know, they, it's, it's been a measure that they've always had, but they didn't have to have pay out that much in every single market. Some states regulated it and some didn't. And the, you know, they were very concerned about what kinds of their expenses would count toward health care costs and what count, part would not count toward it. And that's been sorted out. So now they just have to figure out whether they met that metric. But isn't it also seems like it would be sort of a paperwork nightmare for them to have to deal with this. Don't they want to come as close to as close to possible as to hitting that percentage on the dot so they don't have to pay out these rebates? Yes, certainly uh, uh, some of the companies have made provisions to try to minimize that. They've already lowered premiums in certain markets where they knew they were probably going to miss the mark otherwise. So there's been some early mitigating of that. Now, the people out there who are wondering, how am I going to know if I'm getting one of these? Do I have to call my insurance company? Are they going to tell me? I know this is all sort of preliminary, but what's your best advice you can give? Well, if you're not sure whether you're eligible, you could contact your human resources department. Your benefits department should be able to tell you whether you're in a self-funded plan or not, whether or not you're even eligible. And then if you are eligible, it's, it's a bit of a waiting game. They're going to tell uh, the insurance regulators by June how much they're going to pay back, and people are supposed to start seeing it by August. And some of it will take in the form of checks, and sometimes they might just get a credit toward future premiums.